Hey guys, so today we're going to be going through the different types of touch and pain receptors found in the skin and I'm going to take you through each of these one by one and we'll talk about where they are and what exactly they're doing. So the first uh, couple of receptors we're going to talk about are the Merkel disc and the Meisner corpuscle. And I've grouped these together because they are in the what I like to call the apical group. So We'll put them in A here, and then there's the Piscinian and Ruffini corpuscles, and we're going to put them in the basal group. Because these are guys are more apical, and these guys are more basal. And you'll see that the apical group shares some properties, and the basal group shares some properties. So that's why I've grouped them into two groups, and hopefully that'll make sense to you at, by the end of the video. So, Meisner's corpuscle and Merkel disc. Let's talk about these two for a second. The Merkel disc is a fine touch receptor that is found in the striatum basale of the skin. So a quick recap on the layers of the skin. So we have the epidermis over here, which I'm going to label E, and then under that is the dermis. The epidermis has a bunch of layers, but we're really not concerned with these right now. The only layer of the epidermis we care about is the striatum basale, which, I've which I'll outline here in red. So you'll see this blue layer, which I'm going over. This guy is the striatum basale. And this layer contains the stem cells that produce the keratinocytes, which will eventually produce the top layer of the skin, or the stratum corneum. So, the Merkel disc is found within this layer. It's a very small receptor, and it senses fine touch. Our second receptor in this apical group is called the Meisner corpuscle, and it's found just a tiny bit deeper than the Merkel disc. It's found in the dermal papilla. So, the dermis has two layers, a papillary layer and a reticular layer. And the papillary layer has loose connective tissue and the reticular layer has dense connective tissue. That's just the general property difference between the two. So the Meisner corpuscle is found in the papillary dermis or the dermal papilla. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to separate the dermis into two layers, dermal papilla and reticular dermis. Okay. Next, we're going to talk about the two deep receptors. But actually, before we go into that, let's talk about the differences. So, my Merkel disc and Meisner corpuscle both sense fine touch, okay? The difference, though, is that Meisner corpuscle also senses vibration, with a preference for 50 Hz vibration sensing. So, how I like to remember this is that a Meisner corpuscle, Meisner reminds me of the word Meiser, or older person, and... Um, Older people have more experience, so this one has an additional sensation modality. Also, another difference is their adaptation. So, the adaptation between these two guys is that one is slow and one is fast. And the best way to explain adaptation, I think, is through something called the t-shirt example. So, when you put a t-shirt on, eventually after a while you'll stop feeling it. But different receptors in the skin stop feeling it at different times. So, let's say I just put a piece of a t-shirt on, which will represent like with this piece of cloth. Well, my Meisner corpuscle is going to adapt rapidly and it's going to stop feeling it earlier. So the signal going to my Meisner corpuscle is going to stop first. And then later on, my slowly adapting Merkel disc is also going to adapt to this new stimulus and will stop sending signals that the t-shirt is touching your skin. So that's the difference between adaptation. Also, both these receptive fields for the receptors are small. So what does that mean? So you'll see down here, we have a little finger with a different area. So each receptor that's on top here covers this area. And you'll see that the Meisner and Merkel disc, or our apical group, cover smaller areas than the Piscinian corpuscle and the Ruffini endings, which are, have larger receptive fields. All right, so let's move on to our basal group. Let's just clear this diagram up a little bit. So our basal group consists of our Ruffini ending and our Piscinian corpuscle. These two guys down here. So this is our more basal group. And these guys are both found in the reticular dermis or our deep dermis layer. So we'll put a Ruffini ending right here. It looks kind of like a little bar and a Piscinian corpuscle right here. And there we go. And they're found in the reticular dermis. The Ruffini ending senses skin stretch, while the Piscinian corpuscle senses deep touch and vibration. And the vibration it prefers is 200 to 300 hertz. 
we can contrast this with the Meissner corpuscle, which senses low frequency vibration at 50 hertz. So the two vibration sensors, their main difference is that one is apical, one is basal. The apical one senses low vibration, and the basal one senses high vibration. All right, but back to our basal group. So they're both found in the reticular dermis. They both have large receptive fields. And again, we have one slow and one rapidly adapting receptor. So that's a little theme between our groups. So in each group, there is one slow and one rapidly adapting receptor. In this case, the Ruffini is the slow and slowly adapting and the Piscinian is the rapidly adapting. So which one's gonna stop sensing our t-shirt first? That's right, it's the Piscinian who is rapidly adapting. So let's do a quick review slide before we move on to talk about the different axon types. All right, so we're gonna go and zoom in and see these guys in a little better picture than what I can draw on a skin diagram. All right, so our most apical receptor out of all of them, do you remember what it is? That's right, it's the Merkel disc. So our Merkel disc here is found in R, which part of the epidermis? Striatum basale, that's right. So if we go back to our diagram here, it's right here in this blue layer, the most basal layer of the epithelium. Next, we have our papillary dermis Meissner corpuscle. So that guy's going to sense fine touch as well as 50 hertz vibration. Okay, so here are our two fine touch receptors. And now we're going to dive deeper into the skin and we're going to find the Piscinian corpuscle and the Ruffini ending. So Ruffini ending senses stretch and Piscinian corpuscle senses high vibration as well as deep touch. And these guys are in the reticular dermis, okay? Next, we're gonna talk about pain receptors just before I forget. So let's talk about pain. Pain is sensed by these guys called free nerve endings. And the free nerve endings, usually they're non-myelinated, but there are versions which are myelinated, so we'll talk about those in a second. And they're found all the way up in the epidermis. They have small receptive fields and they are rapidly adapting. So these guys are a little special because they'll extend all the way into the epidermis, the striatum spinosum layer, and they'll sense pain early on. So if you have a hot um, pan or something touching your skin, you wanna sense that, that uh, heat or, or pain pretty quickly because you don't want the, the temperature damage to go all the way to the dermis and cause more damage than it needs to, okay? So these guys stretch into the epidermis, they have small receptive fields. That's pretty much all I have to say on that topic. So back to what this means, the A alpha, A beta, A delta, and C. So all of our skin receptors, the apical and basal groups, use something called A beta fibers, okay? So A beta fibers just describes the types of axons that carry the signals in our skin receptors. For touch, so we have, let's say, a, an ac a nerve cell here with a soma and it's myelinated. And here it has its dendrites. And this A beta fiber describes how quickly this axon can transport the signal to our next axon. So we'll put a dendrite here, another axon, myelinated. And so here are two nerve cells. A beta means that this fiber, with its myelination as well as its diameter, can transmit a signal at 50 meters per second. And that applies to our Merkel disc, Meissner corpuscle, Ruffini ending, and our Piscinian corpuscle. So all of these use A beta fibers. So now you might be asking yourself, what are these other fibers I've listed here? So A delta and C carry pain information. So they're going to be carrying the information from our free nerve endings. And you can have A delta fibers doing this as well as C fibers, and they vary in terms of how quickly they do it. A delta are 20 meters per second, and C is two meters per second. And then A alpha finally, not really relevant to our uh, sensation talk today, but A alpha senses muscle stretch. So it's going to be found in the Golgi tendon organs and the muscle spindles, which sense how much your muscle is stretched and it's responsible for those muscle reflexes. When you go to the doctor's office and tap on a tendon, your A alpha, uh, fibers are going to send that signal back to the spinal cord and tell your muscles to contract and perform that reflex. But it's not really relevant to our talk today. All right, so I hope this video was clear. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.